What's up YouTube and welcome to another video from ICTO. Remember a couple of days ago we reviewed this, the Google Home Hub, and we spoke about a feature called Live Albums. Now Live Albums takes some of your uh, pictures that you've recently taken and uploads them into the cloud and puts them on here automatically. Now some of the techniques it uses for that is things like facial recognition, using um, being able to create live and dynamic albums without you having to organize them and manually create them on here. So you can have them load automatically on the screen. However, over in the UK, we don't have facial recognition in Google Photos by default. This video is gonna guide you through how to enable that in your Google Photos. Stay tuned. So getting this enabled isn't actually that difficult. What you'll see over here is we've got our Google Photos um, online, and you'll see that there's already some uh, dynamic albums already starting to be created, things like places, things, videos, how it's categorizing some of the um, photos that we've already put in there. However, you'll see one thing that's missing there is, is the uh, facial recognition stuff. So if we were to look into the settings of this, you'll see that we are missing we're missing anything to do with the facial recognition stuff. So again, if we come over to the Android phone here and try and do the same, and we have a look in the photos part here, um, again into the settings, we'll see again, we've got nothing here that says anything around facial recognition. So let's see if we can sort that. Um, very quick thing that we then need to do is we need to download something that will allow us to trick the phone into believing is actually in the US. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna download a VPN client. Now this is something that you do once, you connect, you make the change, and then you can effectively delete this application afterwards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this thing called Tunnel Bear VPN. It's very easily downloaded, very small application. Once that's downloaded, what we then need to do is we need to log in. I've already created um, some details in the past. So what I'm going to do is I'll log into that. Once we're logged in, what we can then do is we can start tunneling, as uh, the uh, graphic showed there. So all we need to do is you'll see we're currently in the United Kingdom. We turn Tunnel Bear on. It will say connection request, yes. We let it tunnel across to the US. Let it pop out the other side love all the graphics in this thing. So effectively now we are connected to the United States. And what we can then start seeing is we can go into Google Photos here and as if by magic we then have group similar faces enabled. Enable that, click OK, and that is now permanently sitting there ready for us to utilize and what you'll see is if you go into your albums there is this new albums thing here called people and what you'll start seeing is as you start taking photographs they will start appearing here or the faces of people will start appearing here for you to then categorize a name and so on you can then effectively go and create new live albums based on those um, people that it has found so once we've done all that, let's uh, just get uh, that disconnected off. So we are disconnected and we can effectively just uninstall that application. Yep, uninstall that. We go back to Google Photos and look, it's still there. So just to prove off as well, if we were to go into here now, refresh this page, also on the online one, there's your people. And as I say, start taking photographs, they'll start appearing in here as uh, photos that it's recognizing with people in it. You then name them, and then what you can do is effectively create live albums and associate them to your Google Home Hub, and those will automatically show up as you're taking the photographs. So guys, I hope that helps you sort out the facial recognition from for users that are outside the US. As I say, over in the UK, we have uh, privacy laws over here where they think that it needs to be turned off by default, showing you a little trick that you can get it turned on again and allow the UK users to fully utilize the features in the Google Home Hub, as well as having some neat little features around 
better search facilities within Google Photos. Again, if you wanted to search for someone like um, your relatives by name, you can now search for them in there. And the facial recognition stuff using Google AI is really powerful in there. It finds a lot of photos you didn't even realize you still had um, and people within it and brings back some nice memories that you can then create some albums from. So guys, I hope this helps you. If you like what you're hearing, please hit that like button and please also subscribe to our um, channel as well. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.